Right, fellas, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are playing the Browns. Now, I'm going to start showing you boys who they have as their main players before we actually get into the video, just so you can kind of see. So they've got Bobby Wagner, JJ Watt. He's got loads of ballers, to be fair, boys. Jonathan Jones, who so he's got quite a quick, quick DBs. He's got Daniel Jones as his main quarterback. And I believe he has kind of McCaffrey as his main standout player. So let's just have a quick look. He has also has Jarvis Landry, Higby, um, Carl Duggar. Yeah, he has a load of ballers, to be fair to him. So it's going to be a tough one. But we are at the Gillette Stadium. We're at the home ground. So let's see if we can go and take advantage. This guy has a really good record as well, boys. So want to try and early on kind of get a little turnover and put a bit of pressure on him and try and score early. So he's coming out here completely bagged. He's literally boxed. So we get a little sack. And now it's a second and 10 here. Send in the blitz. And he dots me up. Fair play, good read. Um, that corner route out of trips is really nice. <laughs> I wish I kind of had it out of my trips tight end offset, but unfortunately I don't. But then he goes for a bomb, literally hits it perfectly. Couldn't have timed that throw any better if he tried. And he gets a touchdown. So we're coming out here. We've got a second and 10, trying to see what's open. Nothing is open at all. We try and hit square, even though R, I can't believe just looking at this back, R1 is wide open by trying to hit square instead. So we're coming out here, third and 10. The verticals route is just wide open, like just naked, but wide, whatever. That was a bit weird, but yeah, it's just open. <laughs> um, so first and 10 here, just hit him with a bit of Z spot. Absolutely torches his cover two. And we get the touchdown back. So at 7-6, we're going to send a bit more pressure now. I had an idea of what he's kind of looking for. I was a little bit sloppy on my um, on my user, but it's okay. I've, I feel like I'm going to get a stop fairly soon. So we're nice and aggressive again. He lobs a ball up. We hit it out. It could have been a pick like very easily. So, yeah, we're coming out here. I blitz on off the, uh, off the right side now just to change it up. Oh, and we get an interception. If you see what I did there, boys, is I sent my cornerback from the right side, knowing this guy keeps rolling out, so that he'd have to throw something quick. And it ended up working. And then we come out, hit him with a one-play touchdown. That's in one of my last videos. Obviously, I keep saying it, but it works every time, boys. So, just make sure you get the time. Make sure you surprise your opponent. And it's, uh, it's easy pickings. And then we come out here. I sent a blitz. I had a feeling he'd try and hit McCaffrey. So I just stuck with it the whole way. And he throws a book. So now it's 21-6. And I did have a bit of a point to prove, boys. I've been given a bit of a, a dodgy free, um, a dodgy loss against the Cowboys. So I was a little bit annoyed. I need to make sure my record's good. And some people, for some reason, don't think I'm comp. So <laughs> we... Um, we want to come and prove that we can start slapping these boys, um, even if they're even if they're supposed to be good, as CMC goes wild, that I can come out and just slap these guys if I want to. So yeah, second and goal here. He's completely bagged, nothing open. We sack him, we so easily could have had the pick there as well. But we got a little bit unlucky. Then he comes out, tries to run it with McCaffrey. We have a fourth and goal here. Then, fellas, can we get the stop? No, we can't. Daniel Jones managed to get a little QB sneak, and he's all good. So we're coming out here, trying to run the ball, kill a little bit of this, kill a little oh, bit this clock down. But then Kamara goes absolutely wild, fellas. I'm so happy I made the trade. I was a little bit nervous about giving away Doria Jackson, considering how good of a cornerback he was, and giving away Patterson, because he was such a good running back. But it looks like it's paid off. We have a drop pick there, though, fellas. So my defense is still balling, and then he manages to flip him, get a catch. I mean, it's just... I'm getting so unlucky in this CFM, boys. I could have absolutely ruined some of these guys, but they've got a little bit of luck there on, the, on their side. So he makes a terrible read there, running, throwing straight to the running back who's manned up. So we have a fourth and one here. Can he convert? He has to convert this, fellas. So yeah, he's coming out. I stay with CMC and we get the sack. He was going to make, he was going to throw a pick six there. So he's kind of lucky that it was just a sack. So we're coming out here, just throwing underneath, I believe. Ooh, that's terrible. Just watching that back. I think I remember that being more open than it was. I try and play maker, try and lob it. Terrible read through an absolute book. But then he throws one straight at my face again. Gets lucky, and it's just one of those fellas. Just Madden is trying to absolutely screw me at the moment. But we contain him. You can see I contained him there, boys. He's trying to roll out all the time now, and I'm just not going to give him the chance to do that. But then he lasers me with a corner out and gets a touchdown. So it is still really game on. I need to try and convert here, make the most of it. So just for a little bit underneath here, we just need some points to finish the half. So how long have we got? So we've got 40 seconds, first and 10. Can we make a read? R1's wide open. Can we get the touchdown? No, we have the worst animation in the world. So we come out here, second and 10. 
R1 looks like it's going to be open. So we hit R1. Nice little aggressive catch to the sidelines. So 10 yards left. We still have our timeouts. We have ages left. Hit a little corner out into the end zone. And we managed to get a touchdown, boys. So our offense has been absolutely flying at the moment. Our defense has been balling out. He does laser me corner out, but we managed just to make the tackle. And all we want to do is stop and get a touchdown before half, boys. That's our main goal. I man up the corner out, though, and he still manages to get beat. So he does have quite a bit of time here, fellas. So second and goal. He's rolling out. Nothing's open. He's going to throw an absolute book. So he's lucky he got sat there. So in the third and goal here. Nothing's open again. So he hit the quarterback. Should have been a fumble there. Him spinning as well. So one second left. He takes his field goal. And that leaves us 35-25 with me getting ball at half. He tries an onside kick and messes it up. So we're in a really good field position. Then we come out, Texas route of Mar um, with Alvin Kamara. Nice little juke move. Uh, juke move? Juke move. Thank you. Come and on then we come out here and get a pick. He's just throwing absolute books, boys. This guy is getting slapped. There's no kind of nice way about, nice way to say it. He does clamp me there, so he gets a sack. But it was one of them games where I had a bit of a point to prove. So, yeah, unfortunately, I just had to kind of do it to him. So I feel a little bit bad looking back because he did get pretty bad. He's like, I probably should have ran the ball a little bit more and killed the clock. But what can you do? We do laser him up there. Nice little hook curl that he didn't see coming. So what's the score? 49-25? Jesus. Yeah, it's getting a little bit out of hand now. So he tries to throw a one-play tuddy. It's a bit of a book. I'm not going to lie, fellas. He obviously got the catch for it, but terrible read. And so first and 10... Hits me that corner out, the famous corner out. Hurdles, 100% should have fumbled because he hurdled and I hit sticked him. Nothing you can do. And then he throws it straight in my man coverage, shaded underneath and everything and gets a uh, gets a touchdown. So it's one of them boys. But now I'm going to run the ball, try and kill a bit of this clock because we don't want to be playing for ages. We know we could dot him up, but we just want to kill a little bit of the clock. So we're doing more underneath routes, possession catching instead of run after catching, etc. Just trying to kill a bit more of this clock. So look again, underneath, and then I think I'm just going to stand still just try and kill a little bit of this clock. So this game's going to kind of fizzle out quite quickly, but it's just one of them things. Do I throw to R1 again? Oh, sorry, uh, triangle. No, nope, I'll scramble with it. And then we're coming out here, fourth and three. He run commits thinking I'm going to run the ball because that's all I was doing that fourth quarter. I'm not going to lie, fellas. And we decided to go for the touchdown. So 56-31. It looks... I don't even know if you boys think it looks close, but it looks close than it is. Like, look, he's just been bagged the whole game through. I didn't struggle on offense once. <laughs> it's just uh, just one of the things. Then he throws an absolute book. I finally make an adjustment to that corner out, knowing it was coming. I fall down just so I can kill the clock. And then he comes out and flipping field goal block. So I don't know what he's doing, boys, but he's getting slapped and it's a bit of an arrogant thing to do. So we throw it, we throw the streak, but we don't want to keep getting touchdowns. But I send his user for an absolute... I don't even know how to say it. I just sent him to the cleaners. Just made him look absolutely stupid, as I should. So I kneel it out, boys. I think, oh, happy days. He's going to kneel it out. And he flipping takes his time out. So what I'm going to do, boys, I'm going to show I can still dot you. Is so... Oh, just some people just so dumb and boneheaded sometimes. Like, why would you take... Rather than me be respectfully taking a knee, finishing the game, he has to he has to kind of leave me to dot him up. So I come out, last play of the game, hit him for a touchdown. How do you like that? It's just annoying when people are a little bit disrespectful and I don't know. Like I was trying to be nice, kneel it out so it doesn't get too far. But if you're going to do that, I'm going to clap you. And so there we go, boys. Absolutely batter the Browns. Make a little statement to the league. We're going to see the QB stats coming up in a second with the final score. And it is not pretty reading for the Browns. So as much as Daniel Jones got 436 yards, it's because I got flipping like 60 points. So it was an absolute blowout. We managed to get the win, fellas. And we've got some more hell games coming up. Really tough schedule for me. So I really need to, from now on, win every game. Keep myself in a good position. So I appreciate you watching the video, boys. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.